Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to go over something that I've gone over a little bit in the past. Um, I'm actually going to be going over the displacement modifier. Now, what you're seeing on the screen right now, this is really cool. Um, I don't think a lot of people are talking about this and I don't know why. Um, basically what this is, is a plane that is subdivided with a displacement modifier, but instead of using the regular displacement textures built into Blender, we're actually utilizing a video, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Well, let's go ahead and uh, switch this out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this, all right? I'm gonna add in a new plane. I'm gonna teach you how to make this from scratch, all right? So add in a plane. Go ahead, tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, and we'll give this quite a few subdivisions, maybe about that many, something like that looks good. Now what I want you guys to do is go to your modifiers, add in a displacement modifier, click on new, and then we're gonna go down here to our actual texture tab, and see where it says image and movie? I'm not gonna click that yet, but we are gonna use that. I just wanna show you what clouds looks like. So this is clouds, right, and I can go in here, I can adjust the strength, this and that, and it looks pretty cool but it's not really animated and we would have to parent an empty to this to actually animate it and select that within our displacement settings. So instead, I'm gonna choose image or movie. And notice how it says image or movie, all right? So I'm gonna go to my image and movie folder that I have and we're actually gonna select a video. Now this is a video of a water drop hitting a surface, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna also make sure that frame start is at one and then for the frame end, I'll just choose 100. Now let's go ahead and add a subdiv. Go ahead and generate a subdivision surface. And then let's press play and let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? So now what's happening is basically Blender is looking at this video, right? And it's displaying it in a way where it's gonna take the pixel data and actually adjust the height of the vertices on our plane using that image. Now, what's really cool about this is we can actually use this to our advantage to create fake physics. So right now, the height is pretty high, so I'm just gonna lower the strength just a little bit. But take a look at this. I'm gonna right click, shade auto smooth. Take a look at how good this looks. This looks kind of like real water. And we're using a video. I'm gonna show you another video example, and then we're gonna pull this into render view and see what we can get out of it. Um, right now, the video that we're using is a water drop effect. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. I am gonna pull in this other water effect here. Make sure your frame count is high, all right? So we're gonna get something that looks kinda like that. Not as cool, but then we're gonna swap it out with this Koi Pond video. Now look at this. How interesting is that? We have these Koi fish swimming through a Koi Pond. Now, if that's not cool enough, let's go ahead and let's swap this out with something else. We're gonna scroll through here. Um, you can see I have one right here that looks like waves again. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out. This one's pretty interesting as well. This one is a little sharp. You might need to subdivide your plane just a little bit more to get a nice effect. But again, look at how easily we can simply swap out the videos. Let's test this one out here. This one's pretty cool. So this is kind of one of those paint uh, effects where you can kind of have this paint flowing. But again, imagine you wanted to create an abstract landscape or something like that. I mean, this is just super awesome. And there's no physics involved at all. Let's go ahead and try this guy right here. This is a, uh, this is smoke dropping into like, or like ink dropping into some kind of liquid or something like that. But how interesting is that? I find this stuff super interesting. There is a lot of amazing things that you can use this for. Someone said, can it create fake dynamic weight painting? Can it interact with other objects or characters? Um, yeah, and as a matter of fact, it can. Let's go ahead and let's add in a monkey. Scale it down, bring it up. And I'm just gonna shift click the plane, control L, copy modifiers. And let's go ahead and see what it does to Suzanne. <laughs> so uh, it might not look like much. Let me go ahead and click on Suzanne, right click subdivide. Let's go ahead and see what Suzanne looks like now. So here's what's interesting. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's interacting with Suzanne, but you can use the same modifier on regular objects as well. So if you wanted to create some kind of distorted character or face, it looks like you could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete Suzanne because that is creeping me out. And let's go back to our original water example and let's actually render this out. So I'm gonna go back to my water drop example, which looks like this, okay? And it looks really cool, it looks like real water. So let's go ahead, find a cool part in this uh, video here. 
maybe like right here. And let's go ahead and pull this into rendered view. So I'm gonna go to rendered view. I am gonna go to my environment texture tab here. I'm just gonna swap this HDRI out right here. That looks good. And then for our material, I'm gonna click on a new material for our plane. I'll simply make this a glass material with zero roughness. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And it looks kind of like dynamic paint just a little bit, but look how good that looks for only working with a video. Again, this is in real time pretty much. I mean, I'm running 21 frames a second. So this looks really, really awesome. So I want you guys to experiment with this, have fun with it, try different videos. I'm gonna quickly swap out another video. I wanna try one more. I wanna try this one here. This one's interesting because it's very um, wavy. So let's, let's take a look. So now look at this, look at this effect here. Again, it works on a plane, it works on another object. You can use it for whatever you like. I just think people are really not using this and I don't know why. Um, maybe they just haven't found a use for it. Let's take a look at this uh, ocean one. This is kind of ocean waves crashing into a, a beach a shore here. Interesting. Very cool. All right, let's try a couple more and then we're gonna be done with this real short tutorial here. Here is uh, cars on a highway from an overhead view. Interesting. Now, this one's cool because it's so subtle, but if you were to subdivide this even more, and I'll do that and we'll see it make sure Blender doesn't crash here. If you were to subdivide this even more and then lower the strength to maybe like 0 0.01 or 0 0.05, you would get something that looks kind of like this. Now what's really cool is you can kind of identify those cars within this plane. Um, and the more detail that you want, all you have to do is you have to subdivide the plane even more. Just be careful because not everybody's computer can handle this. Um, let's see if we can try one more example. There's this thing, I don't know what this, some kind of animation of some sort. Interesting, I'm not sure what it is, some kind of loading screen or something. All right, let's try the original one that we had before. Now this is with uh, more of a subdivided plane. So you can see just how organic this movement looks. It looks so awesome. All right, one last one, one last one. We have fire, we have particles. What is this, this is falling snow. I don't know if we'll be able to notice this or not. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Kind of looks just like particles under a surface. But it looks interesting. Maybe you want to have some sort of effect like this where like something's under the ground crawling under uh, a surface or something like that. So again, there's a lot you can do here. You just got to get creative with it, right? One last one. Right when I said I was done. Hold on. Um, I don't have many videos in here. This is fireworks. Let's try the fire. Let's just see what that looks like. Again, really interesting and organic. So I guess the more organic you can find the video, um, the more, I guess, realistic you'll get an effect of. But even if you wanted to, you could take this right here, right, convert this into a mesh, and you have something that looks kind of like terrain. There's a lot of interesting things you can experiment with here. And I'll just go through my downloads real quick and see if I have anything in here we can use. A lot of this stuff is from some of my previous videos. But again, you can use any video that you want to as long as it will fit on the plane which most do or it'll stretch to fit so as we scroll through here you can see I have a lot of different videos um, a lot of these are just renders but we can go ahead and select one once I find one that is suitable most of these are images uh, here's an example of oh no, that's an image we're just gonna keep scrolling through until we find something here I mean, it'll work with regular still images too. It doesn't have to be a moving video, but regardless, there's a lot of cool things that we can do with this effect. Um, okay, here we go. These are some videos down here. Let's try this one. Let's see what this one gives us. Oh, okay, interesting. See, look at that. So cool. Uh, we have a question. Can you make steps in snow or dirt using this method? Um, no, you would use displacement, or sorry, you would use uh, dynamic paint for that. But I, but I will go over that. All right, well, that concludes this tutorial. I could go on forever t trying different videos, but I wanted you guys to check this out. It's just really cool what you can do with just some simple displacement modifiers and a plane. Have fun with it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next video.